Number eight, planting a tree improves the environment. Trees transform greenhouse gases into oxygen, improve water retention in the soil, and improve soil quality. Assume that the value of this environmental improvement to society is $10 for the expected lifetime of the tree. The following table contains a hypothetical demand schedule for trees to be planted. A. Assume that the marginal cost of producing a tree for planting is constant at $20. Draw a diagram that shows the market equilibrium quantity and price for trees to be planted. So first you use the information in the chart to calculate the equilibrium quantity. You can do that because it tells you what the, uh, the marginal cost is and it tells you what the price of the tree is and what the demand is at that, at that price. Then you want to draw a graph. You're going to draw a graph that has the price of the tree and the quantity of trees and you're going to have a demand graph as well as the marginal cost graph. And there you'll have an equilibrium point. That would be the market, market equilibrium. So you draw that graph. And then we'll move on to part B. What type of externality is generated by planting a tree? Draw a diagram that shows the optimal number of trees planted. How does this differ from the market outcome? So first you have to decide if the externality is a positive externality or a negative externality. After that, I would add to your original graph and show a graph that shows the marginal social benefit of trees. And then I would show the shift, um, the marginal external benefit, which is, as we saw before, $10 is the um, improvement to society per tree. And then you have, can find the optimal number of trees. And at that point, um, as long as you show the shifts, you can also show whether there's a Pigouvian tax or a Pigouvian subsidy, and you basically answered question uh, part C as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.